actually want to dedicate this award to my parents. And I'm going to read out, take two minutes of your time, please, and read out a little letter that I found that my father wrote to me and my sister a couple of years ago. And I, I felt that it was apt to read out, especially because this award is for Piku. So please bear with me for two minutes. Dear Deepika and Anisha, you stand on the threshold of life's journey. I want to share with you some lessons that life has taught me. Decades ago, as a little boy growing up in Bangalore, I started my tryst with badminton. In those days, there were no stadiums and no courts sports people could train in. Our badminton court was the wedding hall of the Canberra Union Bank near our house, and it was there that I learned everything about the game. Every day we would wait to see if there was a function in the hall, and if there was none, we would rush there after school to play our heart's content. Looking back, I realized that the most important thing about my childhood and adolescent years was my refusal to complain about a lot in life. I was thankful for the few hours a week we had the opportunity to hit the shuttle back and forth. In fact, the foundation on which I based my career and my life was the refusal to whine and win about everything. And that, is why, and that is what I want to tell you, my children, that there is no substitute for perseverance, hard work, determination, and passion for what you do. If you love what you do, nothing else matters. Neither awards, ironic I say that here, nor compensation, nor even the gratification of seeing your face in newspapers or television. When I won the All England Championship, the prize money in badminton became significant, 3,000 pounds, a huge amount in those days, but that did not distract me from the sheer joy of having been instrumental in putting India on the global map for this game. Deepika at 18, when you told us that you wanted to shift to Mumbai for a career in modeling, we felt you were too young and too inexperienced to be alone in a big city and in an industry we knew nothing about. In the end, we decided to let you follow your heart though it was, it, and thought it was cruel to not give our child the opportunity to go after a dream that she lived and breathed for. If you succeeded, it would have made us proud, but even if you didn't, you would not have any regrets that you didn't try. The amount of effort that I put in my game never varied from the first day till my retirement. Even during my toughest times, I focused on what I had. instead of dwelling on what I did not. I had the ability to make the best of the, wor best of the worst circumstances and remain steadfast to my goal. Remember how I constantly tell you both about the importance of making your way up in the world without waiting for your parents to pull strings? I believe it is best for children to work hard to make their dreams come true and to not have things handed to them on a platter. When you are visiting home, Deepika, you make your own bed, clean the table after meals, and sleep on the floor if there are guests at home. If you occasionally wonder why we refuse to treat you like a star, it's because you are our daughter first and a film star later. The cameras that follow you everywhere <laughs> and the arc lights will eventually fade, and what will remain is the real world. Deepika, I have learned that you can't always win in life that everything you want might not come your way, that events do not always turn out the way you want them to. To win some, you have to lose some. You have to learn to take life's ups and downs in your stride. You are in an, in an industry where there is a lot, but I hope that you are the game changer in it. Strive to generate positivity around you even though you're too new and too small a player to effect a big change. Uh, you are in an industry where there's always going to be a lot of money, but I believe that it is important to be able to be the best in whatever you do, regardless of the, of the money. The things that really matter in life are relationships, honesty, respect for your parents and elders. Material success is important, but not fundamental to happiness and peace of mind. I can't tell you enough about the rejuvenating power of prayers and a little faith. Spare a few minutes of your day to close your eyes and meditate, to think about God, and you will see how much faith in His power you will strengthen you. In the end, when your career is behind you, what remains is family, the friends that you have made. 
Live a life that is healthy and one that will allow you to live with your own conscience. Everything else is transient and remember no matter what, we're always going to be there for you. Lovingly, Papa. Sorry that took a while, but um, the fact that the black lady's in my hand tonight because of a film like Piku, um, I felt it was important to share that little note that coincidentally I found in my drawer just a couple of days ago. Um, and I think on behalf of every child, I want to thank our parents for being the people that they are. I promise you that all of us are going to try and be the best that we can be. And most importantly, thank you for being you and thank you for allowing me to be me and to pursue my dreams. Thank you. <laughs>